hey guys welcome back to my channel or oh, hello if you are new if you are new then welcome sorry if i sound a bit sick i am recovering from a cold um hello if you are new my name is leah i am the mother to carter and i was going to say the only two of this uh, i was going to say the owner of this channel but i'm um, just like anyone else is on here besides me i make motherhood lifestyle and baby videos we talk about anything and everything and yeah in today's video this actually let me just make side note this is actually meant to be my newborn must-haves but when I actually tried to sit down to do this video, he was probably about seven months already. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait until he's almost a year. He's 11 months now. And I'm going to film like my baby favorite. So everything I have loved for the last, well, we're now 11 months. So I have my list here. Um, this is not going to go in any particular order just because if you guys have been watching my videos any kind of videos i've done i am really disorganized because i that's just how i am and this year with me these are in no particular order i just wrote down everything some of the things i will like insert pictures and video clips of because i don't have them right in front of me i have a bit but yeah some of them are big but we'll get to that. So the first thing is my pregnancy donut. My pregnancy donut is the snuggle time pregnancy pillow. Absolutely amazing. If you are pregnant and you're struggling to sleep, definitely invest in one of those. It's also really great to prop a baby up. Um, if you just wrap it right around, there are instructions on the back of the um packaging that show you how to use it for your baby i used to prop him in there he also slept in there for like his first few weeks when he was co-sleeping just want to keep an eye if you're going to put your baby in there the next thing is bonnie sand bonnie the himalaya bonnie sand is kind of like a natural alternative to your typical gripe water um i would definitely suggest you get bonnie sand i found that it worked a lot better for him when he was a little bit on the gassier side then we have talament drops this is also something that i used along with the bonnie sand when he was more gassy but i don't use them anymore and we have olef wax i'm gonna just say this now any olef product i stand behind um i've never used the nipple but the nipple wax and then i think there's um something tummy wax i'm not quite sure i haven't used those two just because i never found a use to because i didn't use olive products until well after carter was born but when i started using the products i immediately fell in love so this is the body wax um i took the <laughs> sticker off but there you go and then this is now obviously the inside carter has definitely used this almost finished this last little i have been keeping for myself so that i can also get in on the good stuff here we have pansoral prodal and cowpole those are my three teething must-haves um pencils like tea gel um cowpole is like bernardo but better and then prodal is basically drops so like tea like um if pencil or tea gel were drops that is basically what it is i found that the prodal definitely by far has worked the best for carter's teething and it's just easy because you can just put it on the dummy and then you know there you go and then there you go Next, I have my pod baby wrap. This wrap is the best thing. It's the best thing that I've ever gotten. I feel like I'm going to say that for a lot of these things. But I was never too keen on the traditional baby carriers. I kind of fell in love with the wrap when I had... Um, it wasn't a pod baby... Um, 
the wrap that I tied on by the Mama Magic Expo um, when I was pregnant. It was another brand, but my mom got me the pod baby one and I instantly fell in love with it. It was extremely comfortable. I actually used it when we went to Sun City last year. Um, I don't remember Carter's weight, but actually recently also I used it and Carter was about 12 kgs and like my back didn't hurt, my shoulders didn't hurt, I feel like there was equal, um, I don't want to say, like there was equal tension, is that, is that the word I'm thinking of? Like there was equal weight distribution everywhere, so I didn't feel like one part of my body was straining more than the other. We have the Fisher Price swing. Carter absolutely loved his swing. Conferring to it now because it's just way too big. Um, he loves, even now, he loves the sensation of being swung, being rocked. It also has a vibrate option where the um, rocker vibrates, but not in an uncontrollable way. It wasn't too keen on the music, but that was fine. I would just not put the music on, put the rocking on, and then there you go. He would actually fall asleep in there as well. Then we have something that I used when Carter was a newborn. And this is the Naturals Beauty Gentle Milk Wash. And the Baby Body Lotion. I loved using these two. I picked these up at the Mama Magic Expo in 2018 when I was pregnant. So this is allergen free, paraben free, sulfate free, soap free mineral oil free silicone free so all of the good stuff i will leave links to everything i mention down below or anything that i can mention down below this was really really great on his skin because you know babe newborn skin very sensitive you want to put something really hydrating on your baby skin because they aren't exactly getting themselves dirty in the sense of playing around or sweating or anything like that so this is something that I definitely recommend. Then we have car seat protectors, well the strap protectors. This is something that I got for Carter because he was quite a chubby baby. And the straps of the car seat would kind of just chafe him a little bit. Some car seats do come with those, sorry, some car seats do come with those protectors. His didn't, so I just got him the ones that you can put on. And that is definitely also a nice set. We have something that I think I've mentioned before, and that is the Mi Moo. Hope I'm saying that right. Dummy sterilizer. This is a lifesaver if your child takes a dummy or pacifier, especially when you are on the go and they decide to spit it out or it gets dropped on the floor or you drop it anything like that you just spray it on the dummy let it dry or what i usually do if i don't have another dummy on hand is i'll just take his burp cloth and i'll spray it on wipe it off and then there you go nice and sterilized this is vegan not tested on animals food safe bpa free um biodegradable naturally based recyclable beauty without cruelty all those good stuff kills 99 percent of germs no rinse no wipe um fragrance free baby safe this is another thing that is on my absolute must-haves list um so if you plan on like giving your baby a pacifier or a dummy definitely invest in something like this if you're able to get your hands on it you can get this at babies or us then we have the bumbo seat the bumbo seat is something you need i would recommend getting a bumbo seat if you don't want to take the traditional high chair um i had the bumbo seat before we got carter's now high chair because i needed something downstairs as well because he's done using his walking ring um the bumbo seat is absolutely amazing but basically you can have it on the floor it comes with a tray um you can also secure it onto most chairs so if you know that you're going to a restaurant that won't have high chairs which has happened to us quite a bit. I just take the bumbo seat with, and that way Carter has his own high chair. Also, if you are a bit iffy about putting your baby in like those restaurant communal high chairs, 
and you don't want to sterilize the crap out of it then definitely get a high chair it is not high chair a bumbo seat it is cheaper than most high chairs then we have the munchkin white hot spoons um, which is actually kindly given to me. Um, I won them in one of Munchkin's competitions. Definitely follow them if you guys want to win things, not sponsored. Um, his white hot spoons has definitely come in handy for me, especially when I make him warm meals. When I warm up any of Carter's food. So basically the white hot spoon will come in a variety of colors and the minute it touches food or liquid over a certain degree I'll put it on the screen for you guys it will turn white and that will just indicate to you that it is too hot for your baby's mouth this the white hot spoons is kind of one of those things that you think is unnecessary and you don't need until you get it and then you think to yourself how did I survive this long without it so definitely get you some white hot spoons from munchkin um Another thing is his 360 cup. We just recently got him one. Carter loves drinking out of a cup. But the only thing is I can't let him drink out of a normal cup unassisted or else it will just go all over him. So what I like about the 360 cup is he drinks out of it like a normal cup but it's like no soup. We have the baby and kids exoderm, I hope I'm saying that right, SPF 40. This is... This was only a hundred rand, um, but about the Mama Magic Expo, obviously. This is cheaper than some of the other like baby friendly kids brands. When we went on holiday, a lot of baby sunscreens are aimed for babies that are a year and older, and obviously he is under a year still. He was under a year then. And I decided to pick this up um, upon a recommendation from a few people and this has been absolutely amazing especially on his sensitive skin he does have a like a little eczema happening i use this on myself as well and it's great it's not greasy it doesn't feel like it's making my skin feel tight or dry so i will assume that it's the same thing for carter this is um specifically made for babies and toddlers so if you are planning on having some fun in the sun definitely um give this some consideration for your baby we have epizone and epi max i actually don't have the epi max in front of me so the epi zone is also from baby and kids it's basically his is almost done it's basically like an ointment um it's a lot thicker than a lotion or cream you can actually bath your baby with this as well and that is what we did um johnson's unfortunately was a little too drying on his skin so we had to swap over to this for that period of time um just to kind of help with his skin he does have eczema prone skin so you know no blame to any brand um but this definitely helped um if you as i said earlier if you're looking for a natural alternative i definitely would recommend the olive wax so an ointment but they kind of did the same thing then we have the pure beginnings 100 percent natural insect repellent spray this has citronella lemon eucalyptus oh, oh that is it neem and lemon bush it's deet free i have no idea what deet is i definitely should actually look that up this mozzie spray was only 65 rand at the mama magic expo uh, absolute must have if you decide on traveling anyway because you never know where they are mozzies i always always pack this in for carter especially if we're staying over anyway it does have quite a strong lemon smell so it's kind of you love it or you hate that scent i don't mind it um you spray it on the skin and once it like dries the scent doesn't stay there forever so that's nothing that you kind of have to watch. Then we have, I swear to you, this is not sponsored, but we have all of my Child's Farm products. Now, Child's Farm is something that I heard about while I was pregnant. It's not something that, it wasn't a brand that I was particularly like interested in, in the sense of 
you know you have your household brands and you just kind of like just go with those i do regret not buying child's form i was on the hunt for more natural things my sister is a natural nut and then i stumbled upon child's form and i was like okay people are raving about child's form let me just see what the big hoopla is so the first two things we picked up was the hair and body wash um the sweet orange scent and then the hair detangler that is the organic grapefruit and tea tree so we first picked up these two things and i was like firstly i love the smell um and then i've been bathing carter with this for a while now and i love it it's one of those things where you can definitely tell the difference from the get-go. Carter's skin felt amazing, like right after the bath, after I dried him, his skin felt great. Obviously, he still needed moisturizer and all those things, but his skin felt so soft. It didn't look or feel dry after using this body wash. Then we have the hair detangler. Now, Carter has curly hair. His hair tangles quite easily and I've been on the look, look, I've been on the hunt for a really good detangler in this. This is a godsend. I was using the Johnson's conditioning spray as his detangler. It works well, but this works amazing. I don't even need to moisturize it in his hair after I use this and this is it's one of those things where people can rave about it all they want but until you try it you don't know how good it actually is i'm gonna move on to the like fragrance free sensitive range which are these things it's not all of them but these are the three that i have it's the baby shampoo the baby bedtime bubbles and then we have the baby moisturizer now the baby shampoo um i feel like works quite the same as the hair and body wash so i'm not going to really go quite into detail with that still a great product then we have the baby bedtime bubbles i've always wanted to give carter a bubble bath but there's ne just never been a bubble bath that i felt comfortable enough putting him in since he does have dry skin and when i saw that child's farm had bubble bath i was like I need it this is the organic tangerine oil it smells heavenly and carter absolutely loves it he actually had his first bubble bath not too long ago and he really enjoyed this i felt comfortable having him in the bath i felt comfortable with him eating it a little bit like putting it in his mouth even though you shouldn't it's not for consumption but it was one of those things where one of those products where it felt really really safe having him in there um, I feel like if I, I feel like if I were using any other bubble bath brand, I would have probably just had him in there to play and then take him out immediately. But yeah, this was really really great. And then I followed up with the baby moisturizer. This is mildly fragrant. Um, a big ups to Child's Form for having the pump situation. You guys know the struggle of moms. This moisturizer <clears throat> I haven't used quite a bit so I can't give like a detailed rave about it but I really 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 do like it doesn't make his feel doesn't make his skin feel greasy so I think that that is all of the things that I wanted to include in this video um they are probably a lot more other favorites but I feel like those I feel like these have kind of been my go-tos since day one. Some are new, some are old. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like. Please subscribe because I know there are a ton of you that watch my videos that don't subscribe. So please consider subscribing and also please share my channel. I would love to do a giveaway soon maybe include some of these products that i absolutely love also follow me on instagram i will leave my personal instagram and carter's instagram down below when carter reaches 500 followers on instagram i will be doing a giveaway so let me know in the comments which one of these products or which 
brand of these products you would like to win on my youtube channel or on carter's soon to be giveaway so yeah without further ado i hope you enjoy your day and see you in my next video bye